Next, we're going to talk about the concept of kinetic energy in special relativity. We'll use the work energy theorem to devise a formula for the kinetic energy, which is relativistically correct. Remember that delta K is equal to work in, in Newtonian mechanics, and work is just the integral of f dx. I'm going to rewrite f as dp over dt, and then we're going to rearrange the fraction and write that instead of integrating from 0 on up to some final x, we're going to be integrating from 0 on up to some final momentum and move the dt under the dx. So we have an integral of dx dt times delta p. Well, dx over dt is just a velocity, and now we have an integral of v dp. That's kind of hard to do uh, because p itself depends on v. And what we're going to do is integrate this uh, function by parts. Remember that when we take a differential of p times v, that equals v dp plus p dv. And if we integrate both sides of this, the integral of that dpv is the integral of v dp plus the integral of p dv. On the left-hand side, we would just have p times v. And on the right-hand side, we'd have these two integrals, one of which appears up here in our formula for delta k. So when we calculate the definite integral, in other words, evaluate it at our final value and our initial value of 0, then we can get this and insert it back in our kinetic energy formula. The kinetic energy change will be PV evaluated at V naught and 0 minus the integral from 0 to V naught of PDV. That's just inserting for this function right here, this integral. Well, that equals pv naught minus this integral now, uh, where we write p as a function of velocity. It's remember it's gamma f beta mc or mv over square root of one minus v squared over c squared. That's an integral we can do, and we write this as follows: uh, p is remember gamma beta mc, so that accounts for this first term. In the second term, we've just done the integral. So instead of the square root being the denominator, it's up in the numerator. And this equals a gamma mv naught squared plus mc squared square root of 1 minus v naught squared over c squared minus mc squared. I'm going to leave it to you uh, to, to do the following formula, but let's assume that our delta k is an increase in kinetic energy from initially a kinetic energy of zero on up to some final kinetic energy. In other words, this final kinetic energy will equal gamma minus one mc squared. That's just rearranging the term, the three terms here into two terms. And I'll leave you to, to conduct that algebra. So this is the more relativistically for, correct formula for kinetic energy. Now, many of you are thinking, that the Newtonian mechanics, we learned that kinetic energy is one half mv squared, and that formula looks very different from our relativistic formula. So, how do we recover the non relativistic formula from the more relativistically correct case? We have to find a way to express our relativistic energy in the special case when v is much less than c. So, we start with the relativistic formula gamma minus 1 mc squared. And we remember the Taylor expansion idea, that when we have some function to be evaluated at some x naught plus a little bit, it's essentially approximately equal to the function evaluated at that x naught plus the first derivative times delta x plus a half times the second derivative evaluated at x naught times delta x squared, and so on. It's an infinite sum. Sometimes we only use the first term, in which case, uh, we can we have a Taylor expansion with only two terms in it. So, for example, uh, we could say that our function to be evaluated is one over square root of one minus x, where x is a small number. So we're going to evaluate that function at approximately x is zero, or in other words, x naught uh, is one. Then we'll add in the first derivative, evaluated at one, plus the delta x. So 1 over square root of 1 minus x is approximately equal to 1 minus a half x. 
This allows us to simplify what gamma looks like at low speeds, because if we say x is v over c, then an approximate formula for gamma is 1 minus half v squared over c squared. So when we go back to our kinetic energy formula of gamma minus 1 mc squared and insert for gamma, notice that the two terms are right here for gamma, and then we subtract 1 from the kinetic energy formula. This minus 1 will cancel the, the 1 from gamma. And we have the kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared, very much like what we expected for the non-relativistic case. And in fact, it drops out uh, just as expected when velocity is much less than the speed of light.